down to adjust, down to adjust. Pulled in a lot of tension. We're nice and tight. And so it may be difficult to go right back through the tines to release my cord, but all I need to do is take this Hawken and pull it back towards the D-ring. And now it's much easier to pop it free. This project is currently funding on Kickstarter. If you're interested, there is a link in the description. Let me give you a quick demonstration and then we'll go into detail. I'll pull a bite into my line and I'll thread it through my Hawken. I'll go all the way around and I'll pull it tight. I'm just gonna slide it into place. Take a second bite and I'm gonna go through the D-ring. And now I have this loop. I'm gonna hook in my second Hawken there. With the side I'm gonna pull tension on, go through the tines, twist, and we're in. I'll wrap all the way around. Right, I'm pulling, I'm pulling, I'm pulling. I'm getting a little too close to this one, so all I need to do is pull downwards to adjust. Down to adjust, down to adjust. Here we go, now I'm getting my real tension in. And this system works just like a VersaTackle. So when I'm done, I don't have to struggle by pulling this line back through the tines. I can simply grab this Hawken and pull it back towards my truck bed. And now it's much easier to pop it free. For this side, I'll go through my D-ring once. I'll go through twice. And I've made myself a little window there. I'll go around my cord and then back through that window. And this is a ring hitch. Now on this side, I'll take my Hawken and a bite. I'll thread it through the eye and I'll go all the way around. Now we've tied in a girth hitch or a cow hitch. And the nice thing about this is I can just separate the two loops and adjust it up and down my line as needed. And when it comes to pulling in the tension, it doesn't matter how this thing lands. It's going to hold any which way it falls. Working with the same line, we'll pull in a bite and we'll thread it through our D-ring at the other side of our truck bed. And using this bite, we'll hook in our second Hawken. I'll take my tension side and I'll hook it into my Hawken upwind here. There we go. And now I'll do the same thing with the bite. There we go. I'll take my line, wrap it around both tines, hook it in, and I've created my tension lock. Now it's just a matter of working my tension in. I'll pull this towards my first Hawken. If I happen to get too close, all I need to do is pull this towards the truck bed D-ring and I can keep on going, okay? I can pull in as much tension as I want. Now the mechanical advantage is giving me a lot of tension and it may be difficult for me to pull my cord back through the tines. But since this is set up like a VersaTackle, all I need to do is pull on my second Hawken and release a little bit of that tension and now I can run it free. And I never had to pull my entire line through. Hawkins are also designed for webbing. Let me tell you about the design. I designed this so that once you're hooked into webbing, you have to clear this eye to unhook. If you don't go past the eye, you're not gonna clear the tines. So you have to go behind it, and then you have to make sure the tines are aligned, and now you can disengage. So there's your level two retention. One is this eyelet you have to clear, and even once that's clear, you have to make sure you clear both tines. There you go.